you're welcome back guys so today um i want to share this is a vlog it's a vlog i'll be taking you on a tour um how i spent my last days of 2022 i would like to take you guys along with me so i'm with um a cousin of mine and <laughs> i just wanted to take her to uh -huh. um so, we went first went to a supermarket to like the diet Angle. She wanted to buy olive oil because she has heard a lot about Spanish olive oil being the best. After that, we went to um, the, a mall. We actually, I actually took her to um, a Christmas market close to the mall. It's actually part of the mall, but it was built outside. We looked around, but because it was not nice, the beauty of the Christmas it market did not show. Really? Um, we bumped into Rayo Smuggles, the three wise men display here in the mall and she was fascinated by the whole um, thing and we just looked on. We went on to, to get a bus to take us to our main destination for today which is the visit of Suda de la Ciencia which is called the City of Arts and Sciences in Spain. This is a very important place to visit if you are coming to Valencia most importantly because it's part of the 12 treasures of Spain and it houses a lot of tourist attractions. We have the Hemispheric which is an IMAX cinema. The building is meant to resemble a giant eye and it's super super beautiful. We, I just took her around. The view alone is breathtaking guys. Ciudad de la Ciencia is one of the places most visited in Valencia, Spain because it's a recent, um, tour, most of most recent tourist attraction and a lot of tourists love to come here just to spend time. There's so many activities also to be done here in Ciudad de la Ciencia. <laughs> we have um, the Museo de la Sciences and um, it's a museum where you can go and see a lot of exhibitions that has been stored up there but just take a look at the view the view is everything they also put up um, a park for children since it's the festive season this park is just not usually here but because of christmas celebrations and new year of course they have to just put it out there it's a park where children can come and play and just have a good time um once um, they are on horse and here the, we saw the famous paella being cooked this delicacy in spain is actually this is the staple food here in valencia and must taste we had to stop for pizza and after then um she wanted to get drawn it's a caricature picture <laughs> the picture i don't know it didn't it wasn't it didn't look like her it was just a funny picture um yeah i would insert the picture here <laughs> for you guys to take a look and um, the guy was seriously drawing his thing you can see samples of other people he has actually drawn it was just fun they decided to go kayaking in sudan de la Sencia because they have like a shallow um river or shallow <laughs> i don't know what to call it it's a make Mm, make shift minutes. river kind of. <laughs> and we had fun in this ride but the yeah, the, <laughs> the kayaking kayak that we did i don't know it wasn't going <laughs> as planned I, I don't think we knew how to I navigate think. properly but we had fun i just i just ended up laughing and all and my husband really had a good time we now decided to go see the museum of arts and sciences there was a lot to see a lot that i couldn't even capture in this single video and we just looked around this was actually my first time coming here even if i've come to Ciudad de la Ciencia several times but i had not come into the museum part um so i was happy to be here and i really fed my eyes honestly speaking so i'll be showing you some of the things that we saw in this um museum it was really nice a lot of people were there also some people because this museum is actually super large i think it's three floors in total so people were everywhere buying tickets with their children you can see them 
and there are some other things. We saw a time capsule of okay, old so these are time uh, capsule. computers, old mobile phones that have been used since the um, inception of all these um, materials or this all those gadgets. And it was just like things that have been saved up and they put them in the museum. It was really nice to see. We saw robots, uh, you know, old robots. And um, we saw meteorites. Um, this was meteorites, yeah. We also saw the egg of Columbus continue spiraling and refuses to stop. And we saw we saw a lot of things, guys. If you are anywhere close to Valencia, even come to Spain at all, I will advise you come to Valencia and see for yourself these wonderful things. You can see here it's a dinosaur skeleton. Um, it was just put there in all its glory. It really looked good. Like, ah, did so much to see. We saw an orbit. This is actually an orbit, you know. We saw that. You can see all these um, museum instruments have actually been named and, and um, given a number. So, um, people will just come look. Oh, touch it. There touch. was one that really got me laughing. This it. one. Touch me if you can. We could not touch it, but we are seeing something in the, oh, wow. the hole. Okay, we could not touch it. Then there was this one, a ghostly image. I didn't see any ghostly image anyway. Okay, now we have um, rocket spaceships up, up, up in the air. It was really a nice day. It was really eventful. We had fun. We enjoyed ourselves. We decided to go to the mall close by because we needed to shop for some items. So when we got there, there was a show um, that was about to start. As you can see, the stage has already been set. We decided to stop for ice cream for a while. And when we came back, we saw that the place was filled up, show has started, and of course, people were enjoying themselves. This is the festive season. This is what the festive season is all about, you know, just relax and enjoy yourself with your loved ones. And here, we are um, at the mall, yeah. This mall was so beautiful at night, and we just had the swell time. I enjoyed myself, I must say. And here is me wishing you a very <laughs> wonderful new year. In this new year, it will be fulfilling for you and yours. You're going to enjoy your new year. And please stay glued to my channel because I'm going to be giving you content back to back on this channel. And I am going to, of course, be consistent this year, this 2023. And I'm going to be dishing out more services and more informative content, problem solving videos that will help you. I just decided to bring this video out here just to show you a day in my life and how I ended my 2022. And the remaining videos that will be coming out will be informative videos as usual. So guys, if you do not want to miss out on any of these infos, I would advise that you stay tuned, stay glued, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and turn on your bell notifications so once I post, you'll be the first to get notified. Like this video if you like my kind of content. Share this content to other people who you think may need problem-solving videos like this. And also, keep the comments going in the comment section. Because I love to hear from you and this also helps my channel grow. If you want um, personal um, guidance on any of your challenges or you want to do translation, Remember, you can reach out to me using my email address at amaraodago at gmail.com or you can follow me on my Instagram at, um, at malawiththebag. I'll be posting it up on this video. So do not forget that that is also one of the services I render. I use um, an authorized translator with the stamp and, and um, her signature. So is authorized i've done it for several people and there have been no complaints whatsoever she also translates to german so if you need that service of course i'm here i will help you okay